I get no packs for cheap. Run through 40 in a week. Hit my line, be discreet. If you're real, we can leave. How's it going? Welcome to Atlanta. How you feeling today? Shit, I'm feeling good, man. I always got good vibes in the A. Yeah. Did you uh, watch the Super Bowl last night? Yeah, I watched it. Playing. <laughs> shit. I was trying to bet. I was trying to bet a cat from Dallas like 50, but shit, he ain't bet, so. 50,000? Yeah. Who was you going to bet on? I was going with the Patriots, man. Woo. <laughs> shit. <laughs> so you feeling pretty good today, then? Yeah, I'm hell yeah, I'm feeling relieved. good. We ain't, we ain't, you know. Did you make any other bets? Yeah, I made just a few hundreds on my, yeah. my fam, though, with the fam. But I really give it to them, though, and somebody else. Yeah, so nothing too crazy, then? Nah. All right, so you just came here from uh, Tyler, Texas, which is uh, just outside of Dallas. Right. Uh, what was it like growing up there? So Tyler, bro, it's cool. It's, it's slow. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't just like on no big city shit. You know what I'm saying? So everybody kind of know each other. You know what I mean? It's it's cool, though. You know what I mean? But, you know, once you start kind of rising, you know, that's when a lot of other shit start going on. <laughs> a little hate. You know what I mean? All that. But it's cool, though. You know, it's overall, it's a cool city. Though, you know what I'm saying? Chill. You give, you give some money there. It's all that. Has it changed much in the last uh, 10, 20 years? Shit. Yeah. It got slower. <laughs> but, got shit, slower. But, but they starting to build more shit out there. It's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't really just that to have, have no fun and shit like that. Yeah. But yeah, it's cool though. It's still a cool, calm city though. How far is it from Dallas? Driving wise? Shit. For me, like 45 minutes. But if you're driving the speed limit, probably like an hour, 15. Okay, so it's not too bad. Yeah. You get out there often? To Dallas? Yeah. I'm always in Dallas. As a matter of fact, I just got a spot in Dallas, so oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you're Dallas artist, man. Right, right. Okay. Cool, cool. What was it like uh, growing up in your household with your family and all that? Did you have brothers and sisters? Were yeah. your parents together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a uh, brother and sister, but uh, not my parents. They ain't never been together, shit. Shit, uh, nah, I ain't. My pops, he went like around and shit, but I really looked up to like my uncles and shit. As a matter of fact, like one of my uh, uncles, he got like, Two lives, two life since he like he incarcerated, so he, he gonna be gone in a second. But like most of my family, that like the dudes wise, they were more like on like the hustle side, like you feel me, like everybody just was like doing their thing. So that's what I kind of looked up to. I had like one uncle, he stuck out to me like a lot, like like a goddamn like real big brother, like his name Bubba, and shit. Like he really just showed me just like a lot, like like a lot of the raps. Hell, he kind of one of the reasons I'm doing music too, shit, but. But other than that, though, like my mom, like she was always there. But she was like my grandmother too, R.I.P. Nuna. She, she like, like she, you know what I'm saying? Like she really was like my mom too, like. But she, other than that though, like, you know, my family, we good. Like everybody got like a, like a, like a nice bond and shit. But everybody just really just do their own thing. Did you look uh, to music as a way to avoid the streets? Avoid, uh what they went through? Yeah, yeah. They, like shit, like my, yeah. Music, I really just be putting like, everything I go through in the music, like, I, it be hard for me to like, talk about some shit that I didn't do, cause like, I be like, that shit ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, people be like, bro, you gotta just kinda just be rapping. Nah, I can't do that, cause like, that's not authentic to me, like, just, just saying anything on your song, like how motherfuckers be talking about. I'm whipping the work and like, if they not really doing that shit kind of just, I don't know, I can't do it. I don't want to do that, you feel me? Like if I wasn't really whipping no work, I don't really want to talk about it. Like type shit. But, but now nah, like, but yeah, I get away. I, I live a lot of shit out there in my music though. Like I talk about a lot of shit that I can really just, when I get back and ride on and shit, I feel like relieved. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I got that, I got that off my chest. You know what I'm saying? And I like, put that in there. But yeah, they look at me like I'm somebody though, my family though. Shit, I feel like, Regular ass niggas, but yeah. So they're happy that you're happy. They don't look down on it. Nah, yeah, they happy for the most part. It took my mom a little second though, like yeah, yeah, like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> she was just like at first, like you know, like whatever type shit. But now I be catching her knowing my songs and shit. So, <laughs> see, that's what's. <laughs> How up. long did it take uh, for her to come around? To it that? took her about damn like, a year, goddamn like about a year, and she finally just started. You know what I'm saying? Like just. Kicking the shit like, okay, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, it tripped me out. I'm like, damn, I'm gonna like, never really just be fucking with my shit. And then, like, yeah. So, uh, you're 22 now, and uh, you've been rapping for a while. Yeah. Uh, we got you wanted to pursue a career in uh, music. 
Shit, I used to really just look up, you know what I'm saying, to like, like I had like uncles that had like a little music group and shit, but I always liked the spotlight too though, you know what I'm saying, like no matter what I was doing, you know what I mean, I kind of liked the spotlight, and I felt like I had what it takes to just, to just do it, you know what I'm saying, so, and then when it comes to looking at other artists, like man, I can do that shit, like you know what I'm saying, so yeah. Uh, what artists growing up, look, uh, growing up did you look up to? Growing up? It was like flip, like, oh, yeah. like a little flip and shit like that. Just cause they were just cool as shit. You know what I'm saying? I felt like you could freestyle like a motherfucker. Just growing up though, you know what I'm saying? That's just like kind of just like Texas legend type shit. Yeah, but yeah. A lot of Houston artists. And yeah, growing up. What about right now? Any artists you look up to right now? Shit, as of right now, I look as as I'm looking up to it to be Kevin Gates, man. Like Kevin Gates, he just. Shit, I, I I look back at him like on like on like his older shit and just seeing like where he came from, like how he had to just put himself out there, like and motherfuckers wasn't really just fucking with him and now where he at? Fucking right, it's Kevin Gates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's Kevin Gates for sure. Anyone else? Shit. It'd be kinda like on some pop R and B shit. I fuck with like Chris Brown, like I like I like yeah. I like his way. Mm -hmm. More like on entertainment. Entertainment, yeah, yeah entertainment wise. So uh, what's what's your story and uh, that you're trying to portray in your rap? Shit, my story I'm trying to portray. Shit, small town dude. Shit, really. Shit, I don't really tell too many folks. Like, shit, I went to college and shit, but I don't too many don't too many make that shit. That shit that shit difficult. Where, where'd you go to college at? Uh, Tyler Junior College. Hmm. Yeah. Did you finish? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, yeah. I finished. Yeah, I finished uh, like last May. But uh, my story, shit, basically, man, just young dudes, just shit, getting it going, you know what I'm saying, defeating any, you know what I'm saying, any negativity thrown, defeating that, you know what I'm saying, whatever, hustler, all that, like, you know what I'm saying, like, really just positive, positivity. That's, that's all, that's all I'm on. Besides music, anything else you uh, shit. want to get into, eventually? I got, like... I got like a diesel company, Global Double R Trucking. Yeah. I got that going, you know what I'm saying? I want, I'm trying to really invest in houses, probably in like within the next year, year and a half. I've been making my, like all my partners get on their credit shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, look, right now if the music ain't popping, that's cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool if it ain't just all the way jumping for us right now. Hey, look, it's what you do. You go, you go to the bank, you go to the bank, you go to the bank. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get credit cards. Run out, run our credit up. Once we get 758 credit score, boom, we gonna get it, you know what I'm saying, $250,000 home loan. All four of us, that's a million dollars. Boom, now, what we finna do? Invest in apartments, invest in duplexes, all together, simple. Simple, bro, like, for real, like, real shit. Are you talking about that type of stuff in your raps at all? Shit, it's, it's coming, yeah, it's coming. Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I just ain't drop that shit, but you know what I'm saying, that's, mm -hmm. that's kinda like on the chapter two type of shit, cause my tape dropped February 24th, so. That's kind of just talking about like the hustle now, like what we had to do, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So yeah, now when it comes to them investments, yeah, that shit come in chapter two. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, gotcha. real shit. Yeah, so let's talk a little more about uh, Global Money ENT, uh, your little imprint there. Um, yeah. Is that a movement? What, uh, man, it's, about a, it's a big it's movement, movement man, yeah. cause I fuck with Global Money ENT, just speaking back on Tyler. How motherfuckers like, you know what I'm saying, they don't respect you just that much when you just local. So shit. I feel like, damn, we went global, so we go to Cali, you know what I'm saying? We, we in Miami, we everywhere. We in Atlanta right now, so we making money everywhere. So that's global money, you know what I'm saying? Everything I do gonna be global, everything, you know what I'm saying? My business gonna be global, the global double R trucking, that's already that's already imprinted, so that's that's official. Everything go global, bro. Small, small city shit, turn big, for sure. You looking forward to get more artists or producers or anything in the future? Man, yeah. Just want to more focus on. I want right to for right for right now, me. But honestly, I really, I really want to start going towards other artists like sooner or later. Because honestly, like this shit cool, like it's cool. But I can't say like this is the biggest shit I want to do in life. I really want to give it to some more somebody that's like really like damn, bro. Music is just everything in me. Like you know what I'm saying, like. Like a kid or something that really need, I can if I can help them with shit. Any one of my partners I can help, I'm helping them. Shit, as long as they really want it. Yeah. 
Now, coming from the small town like Tyler, how important is it for you to come out to like a city like Atlanta and move around here and work around? Oh, shit is real important. Every artist out here, like shit, it's the music hub, goddamn. Like, it's my partner. He, shit, they been trying to get me out here, but yeah, like it's real important, man. It's real big on any artist to come out here to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Like, link with the right people, though, but shit, just come out here, though. You know what I'm saying? You gotta try it. Like, I, I think it's a blessing, though, honestly. And how are you treated in Atlanta compared to like uh, when you come to like Dallas or something? Shit, shit. Uh, Atlanta. Let's see, only thing, only thing is what I say about Atlanta. I'm treated, I'm treated good both places. But what I will say about Atlanta, like, I got more connections in Atlanta than in Dallas. Cause like, I nobody don't really just know I stay in Dallas. I don't just be out like that. And uh, yeah, like I done linked up with more people in Atlanta than Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. Now, one of the people you linked out here was uh, Young Mozzie, who uh, recently passed away. Yeah. Uh, could you speak a little more on your relationship with him? Shit, I got cool with Mozzie from uh, from Gates. Basically, like, man, as a matter of fact, I was recording. I was in the studio. I was recording. Like, shit, this is my first time recording with, like, a big artist. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just recording, just he, I'm like, damn, this shit ain't coming out right. You know what I'm saying? He like, say, man. He was like, he said some shit like, nigga, we all family in this bitch. Nigga, get comfortable. My nigga, you ain't gotta be rushing and shit. I'm like, all right. So that shit kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Shit, that meant a lot. You feel me? That shit, I, that took the weight off my goddamn shoulders. And so shit like, so. I appreciate that shit for sure. And then he came out to Dallas one time for the the high road, high road tour, some shit like that. I hopped on the tour with them. And shit, we had, they had a little show in Dallas or whatever at a, a music factory. And shit, it went from there, bro. And I came out to Atlanta with him a few, a few times, chill. Good dude. R.I.P. Mozzie. Where were you at when you heard the news that he had passed away? Man, I was in Tyler, I think. Yeah. I was in my, I was in my mom's and I was in Tyler. Somewhere out there. Yeah, that shit, that shit crazy. Shit real crazy. It's life though, it's real crazy though. Yeah. Now you mentioned that uh, Gates introduced you to him. How, how did you link up with Gates before that? Shit, I linked up with Gates. Cause you had a song with him. Yeah. Um, how, how long ago was that? Shit. Almost two years. Two years. Almost two years. Though. It ain't two years yet, but almost. Uh, shit, I linked up with them in Austin. Okay. My brother had sent the text to Ron. Ron told us to pull up. You know what I'm saying? Ron actually gave me that beat. Like, just gave it to me. Like, hey, here. I'm like, damn. Like, niggas give 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 beats that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's real shit. Like, I really started. I got a lot of respect for Ron too to this day. And that song was called uh, "Make Them Hate." Yeah, make them and hate. And I did really well on YouTube too. Yeah, 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 bro. And besides Gates, you've also uh, linked up with Rich Kid, Famous Dax, and uh, Go Yayo. Yeah. What was it like working with those artists? Shit, it was cool uh, linking up with Rich and and Dex. Like Dex, Dex a real like like he gonna talk to you, whatever. Like you know what I'm saying. Rich, Rich cool, but I really had more of a vibe with Dex though. Like you know what I'm saying. Like he really was just. Like, you know what I'm saying? Here, hey, what's up? You straight? Like, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. need some, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But you did a video with all of them, right? Yeah. Oh, two, two different videos, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Like, yeah, yeah, from Texas, so shit. Yeah. I really, I really, man. really fuck with that nigga, like, compared to everybody. Like, we still got some shit going right now. We in a ball right now with a lot of shit. Yeah. So we got a lot of shit coming on, too. So more music with uh, Yayo coming yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, way more music with me. Yeah. I like the dude, though. He. Everybody, everybody say you wow, but shit, like, <laughs> you know, shit, I understand. It's where you come, it's where you from, you yeah, know what I'm saying? He's always making news for some. Yeah. yeah now, you mentioned you got a new project dropping on the 24th. What's the title of that? Inside My Life. Yeah. What can we expect from that? Ah, uh, shit, number of hits. That's all we got on that motherfucker shit. I'm taking it. I'm, I'm taking everybody a ride. You know what I'm saying? Just hop in with me. Like, shit, once you put in that motherfucker, hop in with me. You finna, you finna really, you finna... You finna go through what I went through in, in so many ways, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, you, gonna, you gonna hear it though, for sure. How long have you been working on that? Shit, I worked on that project for like hey, six months. Yeah. It was worth it though. It was like worth every bit. 
I really felt like I was way down like three, four months, but shit, but like, nah, bro, make sure you just got the right shit on there. And I'm like, shit, all right. And then I got, uh, I got my bro, DJ Benz. He, uh, he hosting it for me. So shit, we, we linked up in LA, matter of fact. Yeah. Got any features on it? Yeah, I got, I got, I got a few features. Yeah, yo, one of them, though. I ain't gonna just say, say too many, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But yeah. What about producer wise? Who'd you work with? Producer wise, I fuck with that YL, YL on them 808s. He out of Dallas. Matter of fact, he a, he a young dude, but dude's sick though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta I gotta give him that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Man, he a dude from uh, LA. Yeah, he pretty tight too. There's a couple more people, but shit, they see him on there. You got any singles out right now that you're pushing from? Any singles? Man, I got a dope ass single called uh, New Day. Yeah. It's been getting uh, played on Shade 45. And uh, I got I got another big single is Win. It's like a, it's like a, more like what I say about the single about Win, bro. It's really like an anthem. You know what I'm saying? Like on some football shit. Yeah, like it really is like some football anthem shit or like any sports, any sports thing. It's about winning shit. Yeah, I was watching that video. I saw it did it pretty big. Yeah. Like uh, there with that cars in the private jet. Too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was that was one of the dopest videos I've ever, I ever shot. Yeah. We went to Connecticut for that shit. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I had fun in New York that week. Mm. Mm. Um, plans for any other music videos for that project? You want to shoot one for that single? Oh, yeah. we. Uh, I got a, I got a video shooting Cali on the 12th to shoot New Day. Mm-hmm. And then um, I got some dope shit going on in uh, Dallas, too. But that's on, that's, that's on like the 20th or something. But, yeah. Now the project be released on uh, iTunes. It's gonna be everywhere. It's iTunes, everywhere. Spotify, shit, Spin Rhythm, my mixtape, live live mixtapes, all that shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Go get that. Make sure you go get that. Are there any artists or uh, producers you want to work with in the future? No matter how big they are? No matter how big yeah, hell yeah. It's a anyone specific? Um, producer wise, I wanna work with uh Damn, uh I think of his name. Give me a second. Shit, what's the nigga's name, man? Uh, fuck it, man. I don't know. I'm gonna say artist first, though. Yeah. Uh, I wanna work with uh. Damn, why the fuck I go blank? I wanna work with that nigga uh, Gunner. I want, I want, yeah. I want, I wanna do a song with him for sure, for sure. Like, like for sure, for sure. Then I wanna. Um, who the fuck, who the fuck do I want to do a song with? I don't just be thinking like, damn, what artist with shit? Uh, Producer-wise, Wheezy Beats, that's who it was. Wheezy, and goddamn, I like that dude Spiffy. Spiffy Global or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah, I like him. I like Spiffy Global. What is it about their sounds that uh, you really Man, like? it's just that vibe they create, bro. Like, it's just a vibe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Spiffy for sure, like he just puts you in like this. Once you hear the beat, it, he puts you. Says he puts you somewhere. You feel me? Like he he just puts you just somewhere. Like I can't I can't really explain. He just puts you somewhere else. And like, man, other artist wise though, bro, I kind of want to fuck with like some like singers. You know what I'm saying? I want to fuck with shit. Scissor Hill. That's what I really want to fuck with. Yeah. Even like I got went way off, but shit, nobody probably don't expect <laughs> that shit. But yeah. So you make more than just like regular trap and oh, shit. Oh, not yeah, R and B shit for sure. And I, I'm more, I'm going more of a drop that though. Like when the more the spotlight get on, like more. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Cause like you come out the gate with that shit, they ain't really trying They're to hear you. Huh? Yeah, they ain't ready for that shit. Cause they want to see you kind of more grow and then boom. Yeah, I got a lot of that shit coming. I really feel like I got a lot of hit records, bro, that I haven't not released. Come get some money with me. Just keep it real with me.